Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new LP for the channel, in which we jump into a Falcom RPG, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. This is a series of games that people have been asking if I would like jump into, and I'm always down to introduce new series to the channel. We're gonna see how this works out, and I hope you will join me for it, as this will be pretty much a first playthrough of this. So that being said, Let's get into it. That's a... That's a dining room. Oh! Is that salad? <laughs> it's like a salad and like a loaf of bread. She's like, man, I don't know about the salad, guys. Oh no, daddy's late again. This happens so often. It's like, daddies are always late in video games. Pop? Oh! Is your daddy actually home? Oh, shit! I didn't actually- I assumed that he was dead. I just looked in my RPG, like, book. And section 3 says, your parents are dead. Can we talk about how strong his mustache is, by the way? Look at that! He's impressive! No, I'm doing real good. I got this... I, I got this bag of food here. Man, I love me some sneakers. Yeah, aren't you supposed to like, like a blouse and like a ring pop? I mean, jewelry only breaks if like, it's, it's bad material. Like, you ain't gonna run outside with a diamond and worry about it shattering against some dirt. Oh no, it's a child! <laughs> well, here you are. I had a baby while I was gone. Quite handsome. Why? <laughs> Why is my present a boy? Don't make a fuss or you'll wake him up. It's... <laughs> what, were you expecting it to be a dead child? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. <laughs> It's it's okay. I put an icy hot and a band-aid on him. He's all right. We need to get him some rest and all that stuff. I'll put him to bed. If you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water. Appreciate it. All right, I'm I'm a nice child. Yeah. He sure sleeps soundly. And he almost looks the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that. I mean... What is that, like a regional thing? <laughs> the Chosen One has black hair. And amber eyes. How do I? Who is this kid? And why is he hurt? You beaten children? Why'd you bring this child to our house? Is he a... Uh, illegitimate child or something? Who the fuck is teaching my daughter these words? Uh, yeah, I learned things from whoever that is. <laughs> For heaven's sake! That girl's gonna get me into trouble one of these days. I just met the boy when I was out on business. I don't even know his name. You mean bracer business? Something like that. I.e. You'll find out later. He's waking up. Yo, if this kid has amnesia, I'm, I'm walking. <laughs> eh. Yeah, his eyes really are the color of amber. Yeah, that that tends to be the... The... the he, he said that. Like, like you're just gonna naturally not believe your dad? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here.
Oh, oh, is this kid like an asshole? Because that, that'd be great. Why didn't you leave me there to die? Um, uh, that's, that's screwed up, son. And whatever, I just picked you up. Don't worry about it. Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. You're getting involved in some deep shit. I'm like nine years old. <laughs> What was that? Who makes a boing like that? Hey, as you know, it is the, in fact, anime cliche that if you're injured and you speak, you automatically start dying. So you're not allowed to speak. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter, you can tell because we have the same hair color. And I think the same eyes. Now that you mention it, don't try and change the- <laughs> Alright, alright. You know, you jumping on me is not actually gonna help. I think you reopened a wound. Alright, that one didn't have an exclamation point, so I don't think it was yelling. Oh, yeah. It's like, what's your name? It's uh, it's always difficult when you run into that one girl who's a complete power top. Who's like, you need to listen or I'll break all your fucking bones.
Have you ever seen an intro that tried to achieve so much with, like, $10? <laughs> I have now. That was nice. It was okay. <laughs> Oh, look, you got a little hat. It's so bright. Yuck. Oh, his name's Joshua. All right. Oh, God, does this child play a harmonica? I, I want to stuff Joshua in a fucking locker. That's what I want to do. Oh, wow. Don't, don't applaud that. That wasn't that great. Bravo! Oh, good morning. I hope I didn't wake you. I've totally stopped being edgy in between cutscenes. Time has passed. It's alright, I was already up. You didn't disturb me. Alright. I can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. There, there are no roosters here, you're lying. I mean, you're not that beautiful. <laughs> what do you mean, woman? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. Oh, how wrong you are, Joshua. I'm gonna break your fucking dick. <laughs> we may be the same age, but I clearly am the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, how fortunate for you. You know, you could at least try and sound a tiny bit of sincere. I mean, it's like, I'll break your eyeball. <laughs> Can you break an eyeball? That's more of like a squish. Yeah, I like your other songs. This one, this one's real good. It, it's, you know, it's it's got a good bop to it. Kind of like Plastic Love. Uh, what's it called? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right. That thing. I wish I could play the harmonica. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, true, you are an unga bunga girl. It's just a matter of concentration. My problem is just if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. What? How does? All right. All all your hobbies are sitting around kind of stuff like reading and music. No girl's gonna be impressed with just that. Uh, I don't think you understand. The girls can. Girls can be attracted by basically anything, alright? You don't need to be a big, strong boy for it to work. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Well, you only interact with, it looks like, one girl. You should probably get some other ones. And what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fish and collecting bugs and has a fetish for sports shoes? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting real tired of this. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. You're not going to comment about the fetish? You're not going to be how you're in? She isn't even in defeat. She's into the shoes. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's Papa. Good morning, Dad. It's ready and waiting. You didn't age a day. He, he looks the exact same. I was hoping that maybe he'd have, like, a little soul patch in addition to the mustache. But no, he has changed in no way here. Maybe his torso changed. I didn't really check if he had the same outfit sprite or not. But I'm glad he kept the mustache. Are you eating or inhaling, woman? Ah, uh, it's like people say kids who eat and sleep a lot grow a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you're just a fucking neat. Well, make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work. You two are finishing up your training at the guild today, right? 
It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers, just like you. That means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You still lack understanding. I'm like 50. I can do whatever I want to you. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning. In other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, you should work extra hard to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, daddy. I'll be so successful, I'll surpass you. That's the spirit, not a fucking chance. Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? <laughs> Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training. Don't you remember Shara saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Oh no, I, I, I forgot that. I was focused on beating you up last night. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, alright, whatever. We'll do it. I, I don't... I don't understand this. <laughs> Papa is sad! How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? You're the one that raised me, so I got it from you. Not a chance. You got it from your mother. Your mother's dead. I bet, if, I bet her mother is dead. <laughs> That's usually how this works. Alright, Shara's gonna be waiting for us. Sounds like a pain. Plan. My bad. I can't read. Whatever, we're leaving. That's what, that's what happens when you half look at something. You don't actually read it. Before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything particular you would like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Hmm. How about Ruan style scalloped fish in a balsamic vinegar sauce? I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I, I, I think that's a little bit more complicated than like a burrito. You're right, I just wanted to troll my child. <laughs> I'll take the fish in the omelet. It's not breakfast. Eh, whatever. Actually, I do have one favor before you head out. Pick up a copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. You're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Alright. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, no wasteful spending. Whatever, I'm buying a house. Well, we're heading out. See you later. Work hard and give Sherazard my regards. That's a fucking name, ain't it? Look at this, we're moving. Alright. This seems... I like the art. The art in this is pretty good. I like that. Alright, so I messed around with a few things just to kind of get into it, so... Uh, configging, I should have gotten... Uh, this runs pretty damn well. Like, as a, I'm playing this on PC, one of the few times we're doing a PC game. And uh, the mouse controls are really nice. Uh, I kind of just skipped all the dialogue to, like, test out a couple of uh, combat things. But aside from that, I'm pretty much blind, so I don't actually... Didn't actually know any of the story context. The game does support one important thing, though. Turbo mode! And it also works within combat as well, which uh, is one of the reasons that I was totally down with doing this, because I heard it was a very much a slow burn, and turn-based RPGs become a little bit harder to get into as I grow older, but a button that just makes me go super fast? That is the thing that is going to ensure that I stick with it, especially if I need to, like, grind off-screen or do some side quests off-screen. Visual style, this looks pretty nice. Uh, very reminiscent to, uh, Ease the Oath of Felgana. So we have a map here, and we want to go to, I believe, uh, here? Roland? Oh, man. Oh, this is good. Th that, that, that super fast run? Really liking that. 
So here's our first proper town. Looks like we made good time. Not too early, or too late either. We just barely graduated from Sunday school. Never dreamed we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today is our last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one who signed up to be a bracer in the first place, so I don't know why you'd expect to get away with any less effort. Oh. What? Alright then! <laughs> Let's get to it! Make it through this last hazing from Shara. You look ready to me. Let's go meet with Shara, the Bracer Guild. Okay, I'm starting to really find find Estelle endearing in the fact that she is basically brain dead. <laughs> I like that. Didn't we need to pick up a thingy? Good morning, Mr. Rinnan. Hello there, Estelle and Joshua. You're up rather early. Now that you mentioned, are there any new shoes? You know, like the newest Stragas? Unbelievable. You're trying to buy shoot? We came here for a reason. Supposed to be buying a copy of the news. Oh, yeah. You've always been a big collector of those shoes. I'm afraid they're not out yet. If you're after the latest issue of the news, though, I'll have them in around noon. Hmm. We'll stop by after the training, then. Alright. Where's the guild? Orble Fa- Alright. Uh, oh, here we go. There you two are. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning, Joshua. Good morning, Ina. You have a nice mom haircut. <laughs> Is Shara here already? Yeah, she's upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. What, what is she did? Oh, Unga. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. I can't, like, see a hot chick and just immediately say Unga out loud like that. Ah, oh, she's fortune-telling. Ah, uh, good, mo good morning, woman. We have arrived. Oh, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. It's a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's the last day of training, I figured, why not? Ready to get the show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm. But I'm gonna work you hard today in every way I can think of to make sure that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. I hope you're ready. I can feel that enthusiasm dropping off. <laughs> wow, she seems so determined to want to die. Shut up. Every time I teach you something, you forget it. This training is my way to keep some of the information in your head. Instead, let it dribble out of your ears. Joshua! She's mean. <laughs> Don't worry. While Estelle may hate studying and rarely does anything of worth, is overly naive and has a tendency to stick her nose into everything. Her instincts are sharp, I think. So I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an orb mint with some practice. Eventually. Maybe. No. <laughs> I guess there's not much I can do except hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow I get the feeling you weren't standing up for me at all. Well, that's odd. I'm positive I described all your best traits accurately. Have you seen a girl get more owned? What were you trying to predict there? Oh, this? I was trying to get a vague reading of what might happen in the near future. I heard this is the start of a JRPG. Unfortunately, I don't seem to be in the right mindset to interpret the cards. Hmm, you couldn't read them? Now that's surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning, the more difficult they become to, uh, interpret. That's not important. I think it's time we start your final training. Here's a brief rundown of the information we've covered in your previous training. This is the minimum level of knowledge the Bracer should have in order to function effectively. And Estelle 
make sure you pay especially close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, let's start from the top. Orbments are mechanical devices which operate by using what is known as orbital energy. The variety of effects can be produced depending on their structure and the type of quartz or processed septium installed. Although it's been about 50 years since their invention, these devices play an integral role in all facets of life, from lights, heaters, and other everyday products to weapons, magic, or even airships. In connection, this technological reform is commonly known as the Orbal Revolution. Alright, so it's, it's, it's basically their power source. It's like accessing the energy of this world to power everything. Bracers are investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They aid the community in various ways such as exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items, and escorting people and goods. I.e., they are protagonists in an RPG. <laughs> they do all the things. They could save the world, but they could also find that missing apple. The Bracer Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the Bracers in each region. And I guess this is uh, where we live. The Kingdom of Liberal, in which we live, sits on the western half of the Zemurian continent and abounds with nature and deep-rooted traditions. Liberal is proud to be one of the leading producers of septium on the continent and is known for its high level of technology used to develop orbments. Orbment technology has also been a key pillar of support for Liberal in protecting its independence at his, as it has contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago when Liberal was invaded by the Erebonian Empire, it was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdom. Consequently, even now, our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive, but thanks to the Queen's political finesse, Liberal enjoys peace. Okay, so we have, like, better... we have better stuff to let us edge out against an invading Empire that's evil. Cool. Neat. Let's see. Since we've got a mountain of stuff to do, I'll let you off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm going to speed things up now and move on to the practical portion of your training. Uh, Shara? How is today's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Since it's practical, that means you'll be doing it. Therefore, I'm going to have the both of you run through everything as if it were a real job. So what you're saying is, there won't be any studying at a desk involved. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. This time, you'll have to make a physical effort. I'll make sure to have you work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Yes! This is what the doctor ordered. No effort with pencils. I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with my tush parked at a desk. Guess I got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you actually give a shit. That's cool. Uh, let's hope that smile on your face lasts. Let's get cracking in your first objective. Alright. Your first objective will be to confirm the details of the job. Before that, there's something we need to give the both of you. Ina, are they ready? Yes, they are. Alright, you two, go get one for each of yourselves. These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. A notebook. Bracer notebooks serve as the official way to record the status of your current jobs. Also, anything you may hear or anything that you may find and wear. These kind of trivial things often become clues. No matter how insignificant something may seem, always write it down. Understood crap? This sounds like it's gonna be a pain. Oh? Please tell me it was my ears playing tricks on me, but I swear I heard someone retarded just speak now. Nope, I didn't speak at all! <laughs> Keeping an accurate amount account of events is an important duty for all bracers. 
So give it the program and stop trying to make this out to be more than it really is. Yeah, alright. Make sure you do. Let's begin. Look by the door. See there's a bulletin board standing there. First, I want you to go and check the do job description posted there. Reading's hard. Okay, so you can, like, select jobs. Alright. Alright, I think we just selected it. Uh, client, Sher Sherizard, 500 Mira pay, direct request. The training will involve searching the sewers beneath Roland and bringing back the contents of a chest. Okay. Details of the job confirmed in the bulletin board and other important events will be automatically recorded in the notebook. It can be found by clicking on the books tab or uh, uh, hitting the book. I think I set that to a button. Looks like you're able to see what was posted without any trouble. Checking the bulletin board is one of the most basic uh, functions a bracer performs on their job. Checking regularly to see whether or not there are any urgent tasks which need immediate attention is also an important duty. And all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. There are a lot of rules to follow. There's an equal level of responsibility in the jobs themselves. I think being a bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude. You're right. My bad. I'll just have to be more motivated. Is that so? Is that so? Oh man, this translation. They put an H there, they fucked up. It's done. I don't know if I can play this game anymore. I'm joking. It's alright. Before all that motivation sneaks off somewhere, Let's get to work on your next task. What now? We'll be heading across the street to Mr. Melder's Orbal Factory and learning how to use the services. He has graciously taken time out of his work schedule to explain things. So make sure to be on your best behavior. Okay. Here you'll learn how to use the services. In Orbal Factory, you can modify your orbment, synthesize support quartz, and already use Orbal Arts. They have a wide range of effects if mastered and can be extremely helpful. The Bracer business is a pretty risky occupation, so the guild has a long-standing relationship with these horrible factories. Anyway, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical details to the expert. So Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over from here. No problem. What do you want to know? Alright, let's start learning about everything here. Oh... Oh, man. Orbments are mechanical devices which exhibit an array of effects through the installation of various types of quartz. By definition, that means that lights, airship engines, and so on are also types of orbments. However, the ones we'll be discussing today are battle orbments. Okay. Since each orbment is adjusted to match the owner's physical aptitude, the structures for these devices must also differ for each owner. Simply put, the shape of the fixed elemental slots and lines which connect them vary. At any rate, that's the layman's explanation. In order to install quartz, you must first have an open slot. By default, the central slot's open, but the other slots must be opened at an orbital factory like this. It'll take a fair amount of sepith, though. EP, which is needed for magic, We'll also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. Recommend opening them all as soon as possible. Alright, uh, how about... Well, I mentioned Sepith while we learn about that. Fragments of Septium, which are dropped by monsters. They're divided into seven types. Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, Time, Space, and Mirage? Mirage. That, that's an element, alright. They can be exchanged for Mira, which is money, almost anywhere, but... At the Orbal Factory, it can be used to synthesize quartz and open up orbment slots in which to install the synthesized quartz. Alright, how about quartz? Quartz are circuits made from sepith. Quartz have a vast number of effects and raise the owner's abilities while simultaneously making it possible for them to use arts. However, you will not be able to harness any of these effects until quartz has been installed into a slot. 
However, there are also fixed slots in which only a certain type of elemental quartz can be installed. This being the case, when you synthesize a new quartz, be sure to check your orbment and decide where you'll be installing it ahead of time. So what is it that you would like to know about? Alright, moving on from that. The arts. Orbital arts are magic, which can be discharged exclusively through the use of the battle orbments. In other words, a number of peculiar effects can be produced by using the energy uh, stored within the mechanical devices. So basically, it's your spells. There are several types, but in order to use them, their corresponding quartz must be synthesized at an orbital factory. So, all of these things put together will give you, will give you what you want. So orbments are basically the, the devices that we would use, and then you will need to open up slots in it, which requires this stuff, and this stuff also leads you to getting this stuff, and this stuff you put inside this stuff, which gives you this stuff in combat. <laughs> I think that's correct. I think that's correct. It looks like Mr. Melders has answered all your questions. If there's nothing else, well, let's have you both try and use the services here. For that, you're going to need some seventh. With that amount, you two should be able to synthesize a few quartz. Now, I want you to begin by making an elemental quartz that will work with each of your uh, particular orbments. In your case, Estelle, any elemental quartz is okay, but for you, Joshua, it has to be a time elemental quartz. Normally, at a shop, you'd be able to exchange Sepeth for Mira, but for this, you will not be able to do that. You will not profit off my hard work. I will crush your bones. Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know how video games work. It's okay. Modify. Ah, I see they they grayed out trade. So I would need to get. Uh, time is this one, I guess? Y yeah, yeah, gray is time. I'll pick one of those. And, uh, I like HP. Oh, we, sh we should probably get all... You know what? I'll be minimalist. They're basically giving us these points for free. I should hold them. I should hold them. Let's look at the slots. Um, I guess I'll give you the HP one. Uh... That's already open. Oh, there's openable ones here. Oh, I see. So, we would need 30 points on on the main four elements there in the Sepith to be able to open these up. So, I can only open up this one and this one. And I assume these can't be opened because they're a part of a circuit. And there's not an open one near them. Whereas, this one and this one can be opened because the one in the middle is open? That's what I assume. Alright, um... Alright, we bought that. Let's see if we can equip it now. I assume that's what she wants me to do anyway. Uh, here we go. Give me... Oh, I gotta, I gotta select it. There we go. Uh, give me the HP, which will give me Tear, or Tear, and Aqua Bleed. And then if I... There we go. Yeah, I go over here. I can get you Clock Up and Soul Blur. Hello. Oh, so you finished installing your quartz, have you? Since you have both recovery and attack art set up, it appears that you don't need any more instruction from me about... How... Thank God. Thank God KZ did the right thing and ended up avoiding extra tutorials. If you balance your arts out between each other, like you've done here, it should make dealing with monsters much easier. Additionally, your bracer notebooks contain information about which quartz allow you to use which arts. If you'd like to use more powerful arts, check out the arts and quartz charts in your bracer notebooks and find something that works for you. Alright, our training here is almost finished. Last of all, I'm going to have uh, one of you open a new slot. The more slots you have available, the broader range of choices you'll have. Since EP, which is consumed by using arts, can have its max value increased 
be a good idea to open them all early on. Now I want you to use this Sabbath and open up a slot. Go ahead and decide which ones you're going to do. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like she just dropped 30 points. 30 points on pretty much the main four there. So I should be able to open one up on her. So I could just do that. Ah, oh, wow. I could just do it on Joshua, though. I mean, he probably deserves it. If we go within canon here, Estelle seems to be kind of an idiot. So maybe she's a late bloomer. At least in this case. I'll open up slot 6 for this kid. And if we uh, do that, then there we go. Can I do anything else? No, they just want me to do the slot stuff. There you go. Good work. Since your central slot's limited to a certain elemental, it'd be best to increase your orbit number of open slots early on. This concludes your training. The Orbital Factory, at least. Now it's time to move on what you've been waiting for, the qualification test. Pardon? Did you just say test? You can't honestly tell me that you forgot about the test. Again. Didn't I remind you just this morning? Hey. <laughs> now you mention it, I vaguely remember some sort of talk along the lines of the breakfast table. We're fucked. Oh well. No sense in worrying about that. I'm just gonna deal some drugs. <laughs> Why did I say that? Man, sometimes ad-libs are, are not perfect. I don't know if I'm ready for... Hey, let's go. No, oh, she's just gone. Goodbye. Mr. Melders, Freddy, thank you for your help. Don't mention it. Oi! I'm really bad at voices, as you can see. I'm going to remember that you left me high and dry like this. Did he really? I mean, he only spent like 10 seconds saying thanks. Your qualification test is here. I expect you to use what you've learned to go fight random enemies in a sewer, I assume. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? I'm Shara. What? Uh, is there not gonna be a paper test? Wait, wait, hold on. Didn't, like, 15 minutes ago we went through this part? Did Cassius drop you on your head as a child? You just read what it said on the bulletin board, like, five minutes ago, right? Yeah. And I even made you jot down what you read in a notebook. I'm pretty sure the job listing mentions searching for and retrieving an item in the sewers. Any of it ringing a bell? <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, divine Adidas shoes. <laughs> I give you thanks for the infinite grace of bestowing upon us wonderful gifts as sewers. So what you're saying is you thought it was a paper test. No wonder you were acting all crazy at the factory. Ah, I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in a classroom are starting to feel like grand memories in indeed. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like her. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. This is a test. So how about both you, you know, try to look anxious, nervous, break your leg or something? Just so you know, if you do happen to flunk the test, you don't even want to imagine the kind of homework I have in store for the both of you. <laughs> we'll be fine. Just tell us what to do, and then we'll, we'll do it. Well, if you're so confident, how about proving that you're not just blowing hot air? As both of you saw on the board, the test will be a search conducted in the sewers. You gotta reach the contents of a chest, which was placed somewhere in there. Layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you don't need to worry about getting lost either. However, there are monsters in there. Also, let me give you this before I forget. What was this book that says monster guide for? It's a guide for monsters. <laughs> I mean, 
you, you could have just... It's right there in the... Th <laughs> this isn't Chinese, bitch. Like, come on. Yeah, it sounds pretty straightforward to me. As someone, you know, with a brain. He who controls the flow of information controls the tide of battle, right? Oh, thank God someone isn't an idiot. That's some pretty useful advice. What are we talking about? We'll put it to good use. Yeah, let's go do the thing. Yeah. Don't forget, though. This is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such. Well... We have control and I assume battle tutorials. I'll save that for the next video. This has been the first episode, I guess, of Trails in the Sky. Until next time, everybody. This is a fucking... This is a ride. She is so retarded. Like, holy crap. Uh, it's kind of endearing, though.